What's up guys? So today I'm going to be trying out some products from Shan XO's XO Beauty makeup line. I've been wanting to try out her products for a while now, but there wasn't much I gravitated to, mostly because she had a lot of bright pinks and false lashes. But as soon as she added more colors and highlighters, I was like, okay, I need to support a girl out. I've been following her for over six years back when she was a brunette, and I swear she's stayed the same humble girl. I do find it strange how I don't see any makeup YouTubers, American makeup YouTubers, testing out her EXO Beauty line. I mean, she's always trying out their makeup and their makeup collabs, their makeup lines, and I don't see any of them trying out her line, and I'm just like, is it because it's not being sent to you for free? You're not getting free PR in the mail, so you're not gonna try it out? Who knows? Anyways, I'm really excited to test these out. Let's begin. Okay, so I bought three lip colors, one highlighter, and a false lash pack set. I would have tried out more stuff, but damn, just these alone were hell of expensive. So first, I think I'm gonna try out the liquid lipsticks so I can see how long it takes to dry down or if it even dries down. I bought Carpe Diem and Aroha. So this is her packaging. I love that there's like a little window that you can see the color. Okay, so straight off the bat, it's really creamy. It feels a little watery. It's not sheer though. It's not as pigmented as I thought it was gonna be. It's not streaky, it's just not BAM immediate pigment. I do love the color, it's not like a full-on purple lilac, it's more like a gray lilac. I would actually use this if I needed like a nude lipstick. It smells like buttercream, but it's not like overpowering. And the wand is very flexible, I don't think I have a wand shape like this. I feel like this is the easiest wand I've used to put on liquid lipstick. I think it's not showing up as pigmented and vibrant as it does on her, probably because I have a deeper skin tone than she does. Okay, so next, while we're waiting for this to dry, I'm gonna try out her highlighter. I got the color Lucent. Oh my god, that's huge! Look how big that is! I have a Jouer highlighter that comes in like a square box like this, but I swear it's not this big. Hold on, let me grab it. These are both $24. Look how small the Jouer one is. Look at that, and they're both $24. Um, Shannon's is 10 grams, and the Jouer one is 4.5 grams. Wow, so this is more than double. Okay, so this is Lucent. I'm not a big fan of blinding highlights, but you know, I wouldn't mind. The only highlight I use like 90% of the time is Mary Luminizer from The Balm. Okay. I actually really like it. I'm not a big fan of like pink. It looks pink, just a little pink like in the mirror right here, but on camera, oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Okay, so yeah, I'm really impressed with the highlighter. Look how pretty that is. Okay, let's put one more layer just to see what happens. So I take that much. It is very powdery. But I mean, that's really not a big deal. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. That's seriously so pretty, I'm sorry, I just can't get over that. I've only used like one, two, three, four highlighters. But I mean, look at that. Okay, so I'm definitely in love with the highlighter. You can see just a tad, just a little pink sheen. Okay, so it's been around like 15 minutes and I don't think this dries all the way down. Like, it still feels very creamy. 
But I think it's a good thing that it doesn't dry all the way down because usually when liquid lipsticks dries all the way down, it tends to exaggerate the dryness and the lines in your lips. It actually feels really nice on the lips when you're rubbing them together. It doesn't feel like tacky like a lip gloss. Okay, so next we have Aroha. This is supposed to be like a muted deep plum. So this is Shannon's lip wand. See how it's like completely flat? It's like square. I don't know how, but this is the easiest wand I've ever used for a liquid lipstick. They kind of remind me of Lime Crime's plushies. If you try them, they're sheer, like there's pigment, but it's still a little sheer. It's a pretty color, but not something I would tend to wear. This is actually a color my mom would love, so I might give this to her. I think this makes your teeth look super white though. Okay, so I was just drinking some water and it did come off. As you can see, definitely comes off. So try not to eat with this on or make out. And I did notice a few times while I was filming that I had to wipe down my teeth because it would transfer on my teeth a lot. So I'm going to keep this lipstick on and I apologize if I start talking and there's lipstick on my teeth. Oh crap, wait, I bought another lipstick. This is the like regular lipstick, not the liquid lipstick in Deja Vu. I only have one other nude lipstick. Ah! So I'm so excited to try this one out. The other nude lipstick which I always use is the Dose of Colors Desi Katie one. This is Deja Vu and this is Dose of Colors No Shade. So this is a little darker, a little more brown. I really don't know how I feel about this color. I like I'm starting to like it. I'm kind of like back and forth. But now I feel like it looks really pretty. Okay, even though this one's darker than the Dose of Colors one, it's not showing up as much as I'd like it to. I have pretty pigmented lips. And with the Dose of Colors one, as soon as I put it on, it covers them up. I can still see like a faint color of my lips underneath. With the Dose of Colors lipsticks, I can't really rub my lips together. But with this I can. It's not completely covering up my lip pigmentation. I'm just gonna quickly swatch the lipsticks. I don't know if you could see, but Deja Vu is really patchy, and that's what I was talking about, what was happening on my lips. Okay, so I bought the Dramatics False Lash set. Well, I actually didn't buy the set. I bought them individually because the set was out of stock. So I just bought the individual lashes that were in the set. I specifically bought this because I wanted to try out Gold Digger. Every time Shannon wears Gold Digger, the lashes, I'm like, oh my gosh, what lashes is she wearing? And I'm not very knowledgeable at lashes. I mean, like, they all look the same to me. Let's try these on. Okay, these are the Prima Donna. They're not really my style, but oh my gosh, they're so girly and feminine. Like, I just want to... These lashes were so easy to put on. I've only ever tried Ardell's false lashes and those take me so long, but I don't know what it was, but these were so easy to put on. Okay, so these are the Gold Digger lashes. I knew I was gonna love them because like I said, they are my favorite on Shannon. Okay, so I just trimmed them. I have no idea what she's done to these lashes, but they are so easy to put on. You don't even have to curl them. I curled these and I feel like they're a little bit too curled now, but I mean, these are so pretty. Okay, so these are the Glamorista. They're kind of like the Prima Donna, like they're really light. But the Prima Donna has like more space in between the lashes. But again, these look a little more natural, girly, flirty. They're really pretty.
Again, this is a soulmate, and I hate to say this, but I actually think I like these just a tad more than the gold digger ones. Okay, so these are the Wonderlust, and they're the most dramatic out of them all, or at least for me. Even though you can see my eyelids, I, I, I just feel like these are too long for my eyes. From the side, they look cute though, but like this, like, yeah, it's like way too high for me. <laughs> okay, so I put Aroha back on and the Gold Digger lashes. For the final verdict. Okay, so for all the lipsticks, both the liquid and the regular lipsticks, they are both extremely creamy, but I feel like there could be more pigment. With the liquid lipsticks, I feel like they're more like of a tinted gloss, like not so much a liquid lipstick. Both of the colors are really pretty, but I feel like there just could be more. I don't know what it is, like more vibrancy? Like I said, it could probably just be these specific colors. That's the same vibe I got with the regular lipstick too. Like I think since they're all so creamy, it goes on just just a tad sheer. Okay, so for the Lucent highlighter, you already know this highlighter is amazing. It looks more like a sheen, which is what I'm looking for in the highlighter. It doesn't look like sparkly with a bunch of glitters. I wish I wasn't breaking out today because you could have seen how much better it looks like on smooth skin. But I think this highlighter is gorgeous. It's not too bright and it's not too like natural. It's just like in between. You only need just like one swipe of this to have a beautiful glow. I love all the lashes. Obviously you already know the lashes are amazing. Like I said, I think that's her forte. I have no idea what they did to the lashes. If it's the band or if it's like the flexibility or like what else could it be? But it made me feel like I actually knew how to put on lashes. It was so simple. I just went, oh, and it went on. And I've been using the Ardell Demi Wispies, and like those are like the beginner easy ones, but they're actually so hard to put on compared to the Exo Beauty lashes. I don't know what's in it. The only one I thought that was a little bit too much was the Wanderlust one because like they basically covered up my eyes. I'm gonna actually try and take care of them because I don't really take care of my false lashes. Highlighter, amazing. False lashes, amazing. Lipstick, I'm kind of 50-50 about when it comes to the pigment, but the creaminess and how it makes my lips feel super soft, amazing. I think the price is perfect. At the beginning, I thought it was a little bit too expensive, but I was like, oh, that's normal, she's an indie brand. But after comparing the prices to other big brands, they're actually pretty cheap. Her highlighters are definitely worth it. At first I was like, oh, that's expensive for a highlighter, but no, that's that's definitely worth it. Her lashes are only five US dollars. I think they're less. I think they're like four seventy something, and that's a regular lash price. And her liquid lipsticks are 18. Again, I feel like that's a normal liquid lipstick price. They're usually 20. Okay, so I think I'm all set. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna try the highlighter on my collarbones. I'm sorry, I'm just in love with this highlighter. There you go, now I look like super glowy. Look at that. Okay, I'm done. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, so I bought the Dramatics false Let's... Okay, so I bought the Dramatics false, 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 false. Okay, so this is Shannon's lip. 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 Shannon's lip. Oh my gosh, what's the word? Lip. Lip. Wand. Okay. Can I kiss you? Yes, you can. It won't transfer, I promise. It won't transfer? To your face. What's wrong with your eye? What's wrong with my eye? It's really red. Is it? No, your forehead. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh.
See, look, look in the camera. You can, you can see. see what a transfer. <laughs> you liar. I'm just kidding.